guys! So, Hero's parents came back, and the other week, the Jeeps and Donaldsons had this... this really awkward uh, dinner thing. They sort of noticed that the kids weren't really talking to one another. So, we're having this! Party! Now, Claudio has said he's sorry, Robbie said he's sorry, Pedro and John have said he's so have said they're sorry. There is a lot of sorry going around at the moment. Between you and me, it's getting pretty boring. I, I mean, if everyone just forgot about it and moved on, it would be fine. We can move on from this and we can come back from it, you know? But at the moment, everything's just going round in circles, and Pedro is the worst, frankly. He's... He's actually gone off to go and sulk in a corner somewhere, and we can't have that, can we? Come on. No. Okay. The camera's that No, come on. Sit, sit down. No, I sit. Sit. Stay. I don't want to. It'll help. No, Shut it up. won't. No. No, it won't. But it'll show people that you're still an all-round great Do not call me that. Okay. Okay. But would it help clear things up, do you think? You know, for... For them. But then, you know, the audience. Will it help the audience feel better about everything that's happened? More assured, more assured about themselves? And maybe, at some unknown point in time in the future, help you feel better about yourself? Or, we could just talk. I mean, the camera's not even on at the moment, right? But I just think it would be good to talk, okay? You sound like my parents, and Hero's parents. Look, we've talked, okay? It's not the sort of thing that can just be fixed with an apology party. And on the subject of apologies, Hero, I'm apologize for invading the privacy uh, of shush, your- Shush, 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 Fo. Mm-hmm. This cake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Mm. It's pretty good stuff, isn't it? It does make good cake. So, so you and Beatrice- you Look, there is nothing you can do to make me feel like an idiot, okay? I have been an idiot, but so have you. I'm the one who set you up. I was the one who made you look like a love struck idiot in front of Beatrice. It wasn't supposed to work. It's a joke. And they say you and John aren't alike. A joke? Pedro, I have seen the videos. Are you sure that on some level there wasn't a little bit of revenge going on there? Ben, I'm sorry, look, I understand if you hate me for everything I did after I screwed everything up and I just, I just need to- Look, stop being such an adult about this, okay? Move on. This has all just been a great big fuss over nothing. Pedro, snap out of it. Look, we just need to move on, okay? Beatrice is still your friend. If she wasn't, she wouldn't care so much about still being mad at you, alright? <sighs> okay, look, I was hoping it would not come to this, but you leave me with no other choice. Do you remember when I told... I was talking about the camera taking all your feelings away and making them go... poof? Well, recently I've made the startling discovery that people are even better. Seriously, they take all your sadness away and just make it go. Puff. So, after applying my scientific mind to this, I have come to the conclusion that you need to get a girlfriend. Oh, I am totally going to set you up with somebody, mm. buddy. Okay, just think of the possibilities. Let's throw some names around This is here. a terrible idea. Oh, you might think that now, my friend, but just you wait. Okay, what about Olivia? Oh, she's pretty hot, she's right? She's year 12, and she's sworn off dating for like seven years because of med school. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, no year 12s, but... Um... No, but listen, I was thinking... No, 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 alright, okay, so maybe someone more like... Uh... Balthazar! Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, Ursula just let me in, told me you disappeared off somewhere. Thought I'd come see if you're okay. Oh, don't worry about me, I've got some cake, and that's pretty much me set. But no, no, come on in, come on in, we're filming. So, uh, you yeah. just come over here, my friend. We'll put you here. Pedro, you can sit down too, because you're standing there, my idiot. Now we're all sitting comfortably. Yeah, um, so what were you guys up to? Oh, we were just doing something that's a bit stupid. 
really, and isn't necessary to be done right now with certain people in the room, so we can just gloss over the... Ben here was trying to set me up with a girlfriend. Ah, no, yeah, wasn't. yeah. Or, or a boyfriend. Or a boyfriend. Mm. Actually, do you have any suggestions? Well, who have you covered so far? Oh, Petra, guys, we, as of yet. Petra, we don't need to do this. This is stupid. So what Petra. about Tony? Surf life-saving Tony or other Tony? Uh, surf life-saving Tony. No, I used to be really into you. It's an idea. But um, what about other Tony? He's back on with Cleo. She broke up with Gus for him. Yeah, no idea at all. Who could we possibly pick? Oh! Hi, hi, uh, Pedro, do you mind if I just hide in here with you guys? Ursula's year nines have been kind of stalking me for the last half hour. Uh, yeah, sure, bro, have a seat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they are convinced that I've stolen their cat. <laughs> Apparently, evil geniuses always need evil cat psychics. Well, well, John, ex-leader of Team Evil, Welcome to Team Love Gods Part 2. Mm. Our celestial mission being to set Pedro up with someone. Anyone. Now it's going to be a real labour of love so that no one has to feel like a loser anymore. Well, okay. Um, well, how about... Um... I, uh, mm, no. It's, it's not something that we've talked about. Ever. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. <sighs> well... Yeah, I don't know. Mm, not to worry, it's a total mystery. Yeah. Ooh, John, you've barricaded the door. Very well done. Mm. Well, Pedro, I guess there's no choice for, but to keep you here until we have an answer. Okay. Balthazar. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go outside with me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Very good teamwork, my friend. Oh, nicely done. <sighs> I'm really happy for those two. Mm, I'm afraid that's me love got it out there, my friend. I'm just too out of energy to find out someone for you. That was a joke, John, and when someone says a joke, we laugh. Come on, Chuckles. We can laugh. <laughs> First ever laugh. I'm freaking out right now. Actually, I'm quite proud of myself with this. I'm a funny guy. You know, I'm pretty sure Balthazar's like Petra since year nine. Yeah, yeah, but how? You weren't even at Messina back then. How? Do, how do you know these things? Some people, they can be so oblivious to the obvious. <laughs> Is that a dig at me? I mean, I knew about Balthy liking Petra. I just didn't know about, well, Pedro. Really? You get, wait, you knew he was bi? Well, of, of course. I mean, isn't that what you guys meant by all-round great guy? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but um, <laughs> it does work like that, doesn't it? No, um, I just don't understand how you knew, but I didn't, and even B didn't. Benedict, my best brother. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, John, Johnny. Johnny boy, you got any hobbies? Everyone has hobbies. There are some, definitely some important things we need to discuss. No, absolutely. Oh god, but I don't think these big social events are just for me, you know? Mm, absolutely. I think I'm gonna just go home. Um, tell her I said thanks for the party. Oh yeah, no problem. No, a, a, a follow-up to this conversation is definitely something that should happen. Yeah. See you, Benedict. See you later, John.